Just over three weeks remain before the Warrior football team takes on the Georgia Bulldogs in the Sugar Bowl. And tonight, more Hawaii fans can look forward to going. Stephen Farino joins us live in the studio with the live local late breaking details. Steph, another 1,000 tickets will make their way over to the University of Hawaii football fans thanks to officials at the Sugar Bowl. Last week, the Sugar Bowl sent 500 tickets back to color. satisfy demand from the Warrior faithful. The school has worked frantically to secure more tickets after returning 4,000 of them because they thought they wouldn't sell. With the extra 1,500 tickets now, school officials feel they can accommodate most of the season ticket holders on the waiting list. They ask, they ask that you not call them, they will call you. Warrior quarterback Colt Brennan returned home from New York last night without the Heisman Trophy. But Brennan says with what the Warriors already accomplished this season, he is already a winner. KHNO News 8's Jason Tang has a story. No person in college football got to experience what I got to experience out here, playing in the two biggest games in the, in the school's history and winning them at home at the end of the year the way we did. I mean, there's no college football player that went through what, or got to experience what I got to experience this year. With that said, the Heisman Trophy couldn't, you know, that, that reward couldn't, couldn't make up for what I got to experience these last two games. Don't get Colt wrong, though. He was grateful for the opportunity to mingle with some of college football's greatest stars. When I saw all those guys, I was getting goosebumps and chills, and I realized, you know, I really made it somewhere special, and, uh, you know, to listen to them talk to you, it, it's one thing to watch those guys in Idolize growing up, and for them to come up and show you respect, I mean, you know, it's I mean, truly a tremendous honor. Just to be invited was, you know, it was an awesome experience. And not just at an individual level. Even 5,000 miles away, fans still recognize the Warriors' accomplishments. It's great how people, you know, all the way in New York are recognizing Hawaii, and, and um, you know, it wasn't just about me. I mean, they kept saying what a great team we had this year. You know, everybody out there was just really positive. And, uh, you know, you really, there's no complaints. It's just such an awesome experience. No complaints, but one, maybe. I've always gotten upset about Honolulu traffic. <laughs> we were walking, and it took forever to get anywhere. And there's just so many people out there. Jason Tang, KHNL News 8. Up next for Colt, sleep, final exams, and then get ready for the Sugar Bowl and Georgia. The Warriors resume practice later this week. And we're gearing up to provide you with the Hawaii's best and most complete coverage of the Warriors' greatest season. We have a number of specials airing right here on KHL News 8 and on our sister station, K5 News. And K5 News, as we get set to go bowling in New Orleans, KHL News 8 at 6. We'll be right back. One of the all-time great rock and roll acts, Led Zeppelin, announced a reunion for one show only with 15,000 seats available at $250 apiece in London, England. Within eight hours of the online box office opening up, there were 20 million ticket requests. Locally, the police sold out the 8,000 seats available at Blaisdell Arena in less than three hours on a Saturday morning. Bottom line is that supply and demand are always a problem for big-time events, whether it's a reunion concert or a BCS Bowl. The rapid nature in which tickets disappeared for the UH Georgia football game is unfortunate, but it once again proves just how fast you sometimes have to act when a special opportunity arises. Frankly, there are probably 40,000 Louisiana folks and LSU fans that have tickets to a Sugar Bowl game that now features an SEC team they usually boo against, that's Georgia, against an upstart team that many can't fathom how they got invited, and that would be UH. The fact that local charter flights are now being added at a time of year when travel is crazy everywhere to begin with tells you how much pent-up demand there is in Hawaii to be a part of this unbeaten and undaunted team as we all meander along on this thrilling season-long ride. I sure hope those intrepid early Sugar Bowl ticket buyers who gobbled up 50 to 100 tickets here will will be reasonable in their transaction with those who didn't make the ticket call early enough and are still looking for a seat at the Superdome. That would be true Aloha spirit in this season of joy and hope as opposed to acting Grinch-like and greedy. Think about it. A lot, Jim. If you are a season ticket holder and already on the waiting list, looks like you're going to get one more shot at getting Sugar Bowl tickets. UH announced today it is getting another 1,000 tickets back for the January 1st bowl game. The ticket office will be contacting those already on the list. If a second wait list is started, UH will post an announcement about that on its athletics website. The Sugar Bowl has given the University of Hawaii another 1,000 tickets to the January 1st BCS game. But as Andrew Pereira reports, non-season ticket holders may never get the chance to purchase tickets from the UH. Andrew? Yeah, that's right, Joe. And some fans blame the shortage of tickets on athletics director Herman Frazier. 
Warrior football fans can't say enough about their undefeated team. It's been such a pleasure. It's been such a great experience. But when it comes to a decision by UH Athletics Director Herman Frazier to return 4,000 of the school's 17,500 Sugar Bowl tickets before they went on sale, fans fall into two camps. Those who agree with the decision. It's not his fault. Um, he made the best decision he could at the time. And those who don't. Those 4,000 tickets could have meant the, the difference between uh, going to the Superdome to watch the Sugar Bowl and not. And for many, many people here in Hawaii, I think that's exactly what's happening. To help make up the shortfall, the Sugar Bowl gave UH 500 tickets last week. Today, the university got another 1,000 tickets. With those 1,500 Sugar Bowl tickets now in hand, UH officials are confident they'll be able to get through a waiting list of 352 season ticket holders. But if any additional tickets are found, don't expect those tickets to wind up here at the Stan Sheriff Center box office. UH officials say they may start a second waiting list for season ticket holders, and those people would only be able to buy tickets if they're chosen through a lottery. That means fans like Andrew Lai may wind up in New Orleans with no ticket to the big game. Amelia Jenkins, a season ticket holder who admits she underestimated Sugar Bowl demand, says if there's anyone to blame, it's those season ticket holders who purchased more than what they needed. I've heard that people bought 50 or 100 tickets, and I just have to think that they were doing that to be able to sell them later and make some money. Now, UH admits that two season ticket holders made large purchases of 100 tickets each, but those on the current waiting list will be limited to six tickets each. The university says Herman Frazier will address the ticket flap during a press conference tomorrow. Andrew Pereira, KHON 2 News. What do you think? Should UH have placed a limit on the number of Sugar Bowl tickets sold to season ticket holders? To vote, log on to our website, khon2.com. We'll have the results of the unscientific poll on our 10 o'clock news. Big Island authorities told the family of a missing hiker that they plan to be aware and stay safe. Great news for UH fans still waiting for Sugar Bowl tickets. The university has been given another allotment of 1,000 tickets. The university was forced to start a waiting list for season ticket holders after Sugar Bowl tickets sold out. The athletic department today began calling those on the list. Now tickets are limited to six per person. Athletic director Herman Frazier says with this latest allotment, the university should be able to fulfill most or all of its requests from season ticket holders. A second list may be started if there are any extra tickets from today's allotment.